Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. It's time now to shift our focus away from text very slightly and start talking about paragraphs. Because there are a whole heap of different options that we can use in Word 2021 to format entire paragraphs. Now, the first thing we need to establish, if you're not sure, what exactly is a paragraph? Well, in the context of Word, a paragraph is basically wherever the writer, the typer, has hit the enter key. So this information that we have in this particular document, if you remember, we just copied and pasted it in from Wikipedia. It doesn't necessarily have paragraphs in the correct places. So if I have a quick read through and maybe I decide that there needs to be a new paragraph after the word area, I can click my cursor, hit the enter key, and now Word considers this block of text to be a brand new paragraph. Incidentally, even the title in this document is considered to be a paragraph. And I think in general, we wouldn't normally think of that, but because we've hit the enter key after the title, this first line is a paragraph in itself, the first paragraph in this document. Now there are different ways that we can format entire paragraphs in our Word document. And I guess some of the more common things you might want to do with paragraphs is change the alignment. So if you notice, by default, if we take this first paragraph as an example, the text is aligned to the left-hand side, and we have what we call a raggedy edge over on the right-hand side. So everything is always going to be nicely lined up to the left because the default is left alignment. And if we take a look up on the home ribbon in the paragraph group, you can see that I have left alignment selected by default. Notice the keyboard shortcut there of Control plus L. But what if I wanted to align this text to the middle? Well, if we move across to the next icon, we can change this to Center Alignment, keyboard shortcut Control plus E. And that's just going to place that text in the center of the page. And as you might have guessed, we do have a right alignment as well, Control plus R, which will give us a nice straight line on the right hand side and the raggedy edge on the left. Now, if you're wondering what the other alignment tool up here is, this is Justify, keyboard shortcut, Control plus J. And Justify will basically distribute your text evenly between the margins. So if we click this option, we're basically going to get a nice straight line on both edges. We don't get that raggedy edge, as we call it. And what you might notice is that in order to achieve this, Word will kind of extend the character spacing in the paragraph. And if you've ever read a newspaper, which I think most of us have, Justified is the alignment that newspapers use. So you get a nice, clean, crisp look in columns. Now for this particular document, I want this to be aligned to the left. But interestingly, although I have been selecting the entire paragraph each time, I don't actually have to do that if I want to change the alignment. All I need to do is click somewhere in the paragraph and either use the keyboard shortcut or click on align left in order to change that entire paragraph. Now there's lots of other things that you can do with paragraphs, which we're going to take a look at throughout this section. But let's just finish by taking a look at a couple of other little options that we have in here with regards to formatting paragraphs. So once again, I'm clicked in this first paragraph. If we jump up to the paragraph group, notice here that I can click the drop down and I can apply a background fill color to my paragraphs. So maybe I want to change this to a blue color. I could even put a border around particular paragraphs. So I'm going to say all borders, and that really makes this first paragraph stand out from the rest of the text. So your alignment tools and your paragraph formatting tools can really make a huge difference when you're putting together a Word document. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.